We've always had this challenge over the years of trying to explain what BBN does. And sometimes I think it'd be easier if we explained what BBN doesn't do. A hotbed of research and innovation, BBN began as an acoustical consulting firm, perhaps best known for developing packet switching and launching ARPANET, forerunner of today's internet. Today as Raytheon BBN, they still bring the magic, this time for government and the R&D enterprise. Today. I have a question. How do we create tools that allow the human being to be more effective? One of the things that has probably set us apart from many is our ability to take technologies and put them into a practical form for usage. An example, not only in the networking space, but in the speech and language understanding space, taking that technology and then packaging it up into a small system that can fit inside your smartphone. OK, we can get the fuel for the generator for you. One of the things that we prided ourselves with over the years is we've had a group of cognitive psychologists that help us work through the human perception of the tasking at hand. 65 years after BBN began, this novel environment remains a blend of business and academia where intellectual freedom can flourish. Ray Tomlinson is the person who's credited with sending the first person-to-person -person networked email. When Ray sent that first message, which significantly changed the way the world communicates, I can promise you he did not know the import of what he was doing. And as I tell people, we never know what the next email is going to be.